Hey everybody, today we're getting a look at Los Pescadores Coffee and Outfitters on South Padre Island, Texas. It just happens to be the business I did the startup for on the fly side, on the fishing side, or in the early stages, and up until May of last year, 2023. And now it's off the ground. It's kind of a hybridized place for um, fishermen. It's got plenty of conventional gear and fly gear. It's pretty well stocked too. Coffee is great. Food is great. You got to check out Los Pescadores on South Padre Island. The reason I did that startup down there is because that's where I'm from. I grew up in the valley. I'm a valley boy and I know my way around down there. Roy City, South Padre Island, and all that. I came to North Texas just to go to school, but hey, 40 Three, 44 years later, here I am. All right, guys, let's watch this video and walk through of Los Pescadores. Like and subscribe and share this video so other people can see inside the new store if they're 566 miles away like I am now. I don't know about you, but I love to walk through fly shops wherever I go and document what you may find at a particular fly shop. And I've been doing this on video for many years. Word from the owner of Los Pescadores is that a lot of changes are coming to the fly fishing area of business. I don't know what that means, except that I guess I will have to go back soon and walk through again. Los Pescadores has the right mix. It mixes drink, food, conventional fishing gear, fly gear, and the most important part of the mix to a person looking for fun, community. And that was our goal when I undertook my role of building the shop into a going concern. There were immense labor pains giving birth to this business, but I did my part. And I hope you take the time to stop in and visit the shop. Feel the community and introduce yourself. You'll be glad you did. Always remember when you get to South Padre though, it's island time. And that is my favorite time all the time. If you have any questions about the shop, what products are available, or who to talk to when you're there about fly fishing, just ask in the comments below. I would be glad to help, and I can also recommend guides that can get you on fish. Remember, the Lower Laguna Madre is virtually a year-round fishery. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe, texasflycaster.com for the written word.